it's definitely it, sh it shouldn't be an issue but uh you could just put in a question or or, or explanation for the technical problem if i see it's something that, that that's widespread uh we can definitely stop the webinar and, and address it uh but it looks like we're good so let's get started i want to give uh give everyone here just a, a quick one minute on the core of what we do for those who don't uh who don't know or um or need kind of a recap uh, before we dive into social media. Uh, we, we handle the connection between videos and products uh, for primarily for e-commerce or online merchants. Um, our clients span yeah, online merchants directly. We work with brands, uh, retailers that sell online, as well as uh, our partners who are the agencies, the marketing uh, consultants, advisors that provide solutions to, to the online merchants. Uh, so are we, we essentially focus on two major properties, the, the website, the e-commerce website. Uh, and right now in front of you, you're looking at one particular implementation on a company called Eastwood. Uh, these guys sell auto parts. Um, and uh, in addition to the web property, which I'll, I'll talk about primarily on this, on this webinar, uh, we address social media properties and conversion uh, to sales from video on and across social media. Uh, so, just to show you here kind of the, the, the core uh, benefit of our product, uh, here you have one particular template uh, of, of our, one of many of our templates that are available. You can uh, browse your entire video collection here and keep users retained on any particular web page on your website with a collection of videos that you can bring in uh, from YouTube or wherever they may uh, reside. Uh, into this this player, into our your management system, your account on TV page, and for every single video that is played here, I'll pause it. For every single video that's played here, you get the relevant products directly underneath. And there are multiple ways to connect products to uh, to videos uh, manually. Uh, there are automated solutions. Uh, we dynamically optimize this connection on a regular basis. Something that we're going to talk about a little bit uh, more in uh, webinars to come. Uh, I believe the next one scheduled will focus on that, so I'm not going to dive too much into it. But uh, at the heart of it, we, we make that connection intelligent, we make it optimized, and we uh, ensure that your users, as they view uh, video on your website, have the highest, are, are in the position to click through and are being presented with uh, links that have the highest probability of conversion. Uh, so just a few different examples. You can see another one of our clients here, Charbroil, Charbroil TV uh, is served by us. Uh, all the different videos uh, that they want, you have 70 or so videos I believe are on this particular template. And again, each video drives conversion uh, to a certain batch or, or uh, presents a certain batch of products. Uh, those that are most relevant to the, to the videos uh, presented. Uh, here you have another solution or another implementation on, on Petco. I'm showing you a standard, one of our most popular templates, Storefront, uh, simply because it, it does portray the videos here and the products at the bottom uh, very well. And everything is customizable, uh, easily integratable into your, your website, your, your environment. Uh, so diving into Facebook, what... What does TV Page do on Facebook, and and what makes it uh, not only unique but very powerful when when looking at you know, what video can do for you from a marketing standpoint? Um, first and foremost, the these collections that you saw or these uh, these templates uh, can be on your Facebook page as a Facebook page tag, and uh, and that we believe is an important. First step in adding or integrating video effectively into your uh, your Facebook page environment as as an online merchant, uh, because you want to be able to sell with video from Facebook effectively. And um, so, every single time someone views a video on on Facebook, you want to be able to offer you know the most relevant. Uh, One of my favorite dishes in the summer is fresh the most relevant calls to action or promotions uh, that you have or uh, available on your TV page account. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a second with respect to that video. So I should actually touch, touch on that for a quick second. As you bring in uh, video content into your, your TV page account, uh, all of these promotions or products 
reside in your account as well. And that connection um, is, is presenting itself here effectively you know, with, with the view of every single video. Um, going back to the Facebook page or timeline here, the second form of uh, engagement that we offer on Facebook is inside the actual news feed. And this is extremely, extremely potent because not only uh, does video inside the news feed work and it's proven to work, but it also has the capability of becoming a suggested post, as they call it, or a sponsored post. So any one of these uh, uh, video player units that I'm going to show you right now can run uh, not only organically in, uh, to your followers on Facebook, but also as a sponsored post. You can put money into it. Uh, so let's start by showing you an in-stream spot. Uh, here, for example, I'm going to click play in a second, uh, and, and you'll see there's a little bit of audio, so I'm going to give you an intro. Uh, what happens here about 18 seconds in is that the video will stop, and a particular product will be promoted. And uh, we call this an in-stream spot. Uh, take a look. Working in a creative place like the No Kitchens, you always need to be trained harder. So when I set out to make chicken more gourmet, I blended wild mushrooms, chives, spices, and a dash of white wine. They're all in here. There you go. So the product is now being emphasized for a few seconds, and in a and second we'll go back. Mushroom chicken. We'll go back to the video. So if I click anywhere afterwards, I'll get the product uh, promotion again. I can directly click from here to uh, to buy the product, and voila, very very easily portrayed, easily presented. Now this is uh, in in this case, you know, for some it might be slightly assertive or aggressive in terms of uh, of, of the promotion. For others, it might actually be very much desired or even. Uh, passive. It really depends on the product you're selling and what your marketing goals are. Uh, we also have what we call passive spots within the uh, within the newsfeed, which I'll show you right here an example. Here you have a video being played, and so you click play to watch the video. One of my very favorite meats. But if you very click easy. on the <laughs> title here, the product will come down and offer you the capability to buy now or directly from from the newsfeed. Uh, if you Hey. Click, click anywhere on the video, the same thing will happen. Or if you wait for the video to end after you watch it, that exact product will come up and, and promote itself. Uh, just in terms of, of uh, a little bit of, of statistics, uh, we're seeing on this particular product, passive spot uh, product, we're seeing a 20% average click-through rate on Facebook, which is amazing. So um, from, from the 100% to get the product impression, 20% click through. And uh, so it's a very effective number, about 10 times what you see on average with, uh, with Google AdWords. And that's being actually ex extra generous because uh, uh, Google AdWords has a tolerance of about one to two or less than one to 2% um, in terms of click through rate. So the, uh, these products have been exceptionally powerful. Uh, the way you manage the, uh, these campaigns is through something called our campaign manager in your account. Let me go quickly and show you what I mean. And then we're going to talk about dynamic and manual promotions. So let me pull this up and, and, and we'll start here just by, by going into what a, what a promotion is on TV page and, and, and how you manage it. So this is all this is focused on the social media side or boosting or, or pushing out your content onto properties that are outside of your website. Uh, the entire section on our in your account on TV page that manages your, your website or your controlled, as we call it, properties, uh, is separate from this. So just for some from context. So when you go into a, a campaign manager, here we have uh, a few demo campaigns uh, that we ran for, for Tilly's, one of our clients. And you can see, um, going into any one of these uh, promotions, well, Pick a custom range for data so you can see how the data presents itself. There you go. Uh, this particular promotion is involves the video here on the left and the product here on the right. So in this case, uh, it's, it's a, what we call a manual promotion. I'll touch on that in, in a second. That promotes this particular video with this product. As you saw before, 
That would mean that in the case of how it appears on Facebook, the video would be the video playing, and the product would be the product coming up in relation to that video or presented uh, in, in conjunction with that, that video. So with this promotion, you can see uh, that the Polar Tent product received uh, this number of impressions and this number of clicks during the period specified in, in, in this page, and they were broken up uh, between Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn uh, as such. So going back to here, why don't we create a promotion and we'll be able to see exactly how, how this works. So if I go and add a new promotion under this particular campaign, campaigns can be created, campaigns are containers for your promotions and you can use as many as you'd like uh, for your business. So promotion title, let's call this test promotion A. And let's send it to manual, and, and I'll, I'll explain really the difference right now between manual and dynamic. Uh, manual means that I'm going to give TV page uh, the indication of exactly which video I want to promote, along with the specific product that I want to promote with it, uh, exactly like what I just showed you right now. Dynamic means that I'm just going to indicate the video, but I'm going to let TV page select the product. Uh, and that product would come from a pool that's already pre-associated with the, um, the, the, the video. And, and that association is something that I touched on, on on prior webinars and is a very big part of our core uh, feature and or one of the core features on our platform uh, and, and really has to do with the main area uh, on our platform. I'm not going to talk about that too much, but if you want more information about how we associate the products and the videos, uh, contact one of your account executives uh, or me, I'd be happy to, uh, we'd be happy to explain, you know, how some of those features work on our platform. Uh, but going forward uh, on this here, I'm going to create this, this promotion. I'm going to set it to manual. And I'm going to pick one of the videos that I want to promote. And why don't we go into Tilly's TV, a, a bunch of, of videos. This is all demo content, so disregard the, the core content. Um, but let's pick this particular video here and no assigned spots there. So it only lets you, it's an important point, lets you choose a video and proceed uh, if that video has assigned spots. Uh, and, and that is, is an important part of setting up your, your, your TV page account. So let's say one of these pre-assigned product promotions, uh, pick one that's somewhat relevant, this video is what I want. And I'm, I can change some of the text here. Uh, it'll come across as a video post on Facebook, uh, drawing people to click play with this title and this description. It pulls here from, from the, uh, uh, from the title and, and description of the video itself. I can go in here and make changes if I want to change anything that might be a little bit more specific to the promotion, uh, the product that I want to promote. Uh, but if I'm okay with this, I would just go here, click save, and voila, the promotion is now added here to my, uh, my account, and I can go and boost it. So why don't we go and boost it directly to Facebook? I believe I am logged in as the, the, the Nor Demo account. So on that particular page, you will see this come up when I do that. There we go. So if I go back here into nor and I refresh the page, I should have it right here and here I do. Tilly's Swim Video Lookbook 13, right? I can click play and I get the, uh, the video of the swimsuits and I click on the swimsuit here and boom, I get the swimsuit promoted to me. So I can go and buy the swimsuit directly from Facebook. There you go. And that's Tilly's site taking its time to come up. But the link is obviously determined by you. You set it in your account. And um, and here you go. That's exactly where you go. And you measure, uh, as I just showed you, the, the click-through for every single, uh, the click-through performance, excuse me, for every single spot that you've allocated to your videos on Facebook. Um, one last thing I want to show you guys before we, we take questions is the way you boost 
one of these posts on Facebook. And you know, most of you or all of you might be familiar with this already. Um, it's not part of our platform, but it is extremely complimentary to our platform because what I've done right now is I've created or a post uh, that promotes a certain video with a certain product on my business Facebook page. And I just went into the Facebook uh, uh, page as admin uh, for our company, TV page, and I wanna show you how this works. Um, for those of you don't, who don't know just yet, you can go in and you can take a post and turn it into a promoted post or a sponsored post and target any particular area you'd like, any demographic, uh, men, women, all, with specific interests that are relevant to your post. So if you have, if you sell auto parts, you would obviously target auto parts. Uh, in the case of, of Tilly's, for example, swimsuits uh, would be targeted or maybe uh, teenagers who like uh, skateboarding would be targeted, etc. I can continue with, with this, but I think you get the idea. And then you put money into this. Now, I wanted to just bring you into this, uh, show you this, this boosting process on Facebook, uh, which is revolutionary in a way, because the, the way you can target here is just exceptional. And I wanted to, to emphasize here that, that every single dollar I put into this post with a TV page post will go that much further and, and do that much more for you. So you, because you can actually measure the conversion from that post to back to your product pages. Um, and in the case of Tilly's, for that example, they, if they wanted to promote that particular video uh, approaching summer about swimsuits, they could they have the option of putting a YouTube video in there, which is very typical or uploading a video to Facebook and running it as a post, and they're gonna get more engagement. And if they put $1,000 into it or, or $10,000 into it, they will, that will directly translate into more likes and, uh, and, and quite a few views of that video, I'm sure. Uh, the only problem is you don't know how much that video actually sold uh, in terms of product. And if you post through us with our platform, you do. You have both the engagement and the analytics on Facebook connected directly to your ad, plus, the analytics on TV page telling you exactly that, you know, out of 100,000 impressions, um, I got 15,000 clicks or, or whatever it may be. And you can work with that. You can then further optimize uh, with our dynamic setting. You can, uh, you can run 20, 30, 40 different products and we'll dynamically apply them and you'll know which products actually got better performance. All this data is critical to you as an online merchant, of course. So, uh, going back to to uh, uh, the core here, oh, search back, go back to the fastest spots and in-stream spots. Just to recap, uh, we have two different types of ways to, to post or boost on your Facebook timeline, uh, the passive spots, the in-stream spots, and uh, that's really the core of what I wanted to show here on this webinar. At this moment in time, I am happy to start taking uh, or answering uh, some of the questions that we have right here uh, in front of us. I see several questions. So I'm gonna start at answering them, but just if you have any other questions, feel free to, uh, to bring them in or, or, or you know, just write them, type them in as I, as I speak. Um, I see a first question from Donnie, Donnie Hyde. Uh, how are you doing, Donnie? Um, we have in-stream spots, uh, are they available? on today. Okay, so Donnie is actually a user of our uh, uh, of TV page, and this is a great question, Donnie. Uh, in-stream spots are still being tested among a few uh, of our clients and uh, and will be released in, a, in the coming few weeks. Uh, so you'll have that in your account. But if you want to use this and start testing it on your account, we actually uh, are very interested in, in adding people to our current testing phase. Uh, so you can actually start using it today. We can add it to your account if you're interested. Let us know. Uh, well, we can talk about it separately and make sure that you get access to that. Um, excellent. Okay. Next question from Tim. Tim Roosh. Are there any... One second here. Are there any restrictions to what video I can use on YouTube? Uh, great question, Tim. No, 
you can, well, there, there is, there is to some extent, yes. Uh, if the video is private, then we cannot access it. Um, let me go in here and I'll show you what, what I mean. So if you, if you go in and want to find and add videos to your, for any one of your collections, um, you're searching, I'm going to go into say DKNY with a known brand. I can go into the channel. I can add content, uh, that may be mine, may not be mine. If I'm selling DKNY as a, as an online retailer, uh, I can definitely pull in the content. I would want to pull in this content. Um, but all the video that you see available to you to bring into your TV page account and then utilize, uh, as part of a TV page template on your website or push out to Facebook is strictly that content, which has been made public or, or better put has not been made private. Now there are two categories of private on YouTube. There is a, a fully private and then there's unlisted. Uh, the unlisted content is actually content that you can still access because via their API, we can still present it and bring it forward to you. So it, it's actually a unique feature or, or capability with our platform, um, offering people the, the discretion of not making content listed on YouTube, but still bringing it into their YouTube, uh, sorry, to their TV page template and making it available in a controlled manner on their website. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, great. I have a, another question here from Mike Winkowski. Uh, let me pull that up. Yeah, case studies. Uh, Mike, great question. Uh, case studies showing the results you're talking about, are those available? Yes, they are. Uh, um, and that's a great point. Let me just draw your attention to a section on our site that has to do with case studies. Uh, so you will see our site continuously um, be upgraded and, with new and, and great information about both about use cases um, and stats on our product, and also a lot more about new features and as they come out. I believe that we have quite a, a significant uh, uh, upgrade coming up in the coming few days. So watch out for that. You'll definitely uh, more than likely get an email about that. Uh, but specifically with case studies, uh, Mike, the you have this page here on, on our site that gives you a little bit of information on, on implementations, and you can view different examples. Uh, very easily. The stats I am talking about are not yet on our website, uh, specifically the 20% the click-through average on Facebook and a few others uh, that will be coming up and these uh, will be on this section of case studies. We're, we're planning an upgrade of the section including videos from clients and, and quite a, a bit of information. So watch for that in the coming uh, a week or two. But uh, if you specifically would like uh, a breakdown on our stats, contact any of our account executives or me after this webinar, and I'd be happy to get that to you um, before it goes public. Let's see. Any other questions? Uh, I think those are, I think that, that I've asked all the questions. Uh, yeah, great. So if there are no other questions, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. It's been great chatting with you guys. Um, of course, any question you have at any point in time, just shoot us an email. Our account executives are available to, uh, to address them. Uh, I am as well. And just a quick review of our contact information on our site. You can find it on, on, on most pages, but uh, uh, sales TV page uh, will always get you to the right person. Uh, you can request a demo. If you're interested in a custom demo, just let us know. We'd be happy to create one. One of the big benefits of our platform is that it is extremely customizable and very, very easy to work with. So we have the benefit of being able to create uh, in minutes a custom demo, typically with your content or the content that's relevant to you on YouTube. So reach out to us. Don't be shy. Oh, I think I just got another question, so I'm going to grab it before I wrap up. Oh, I think, oh how do we contact you? So I, I believe I answered the question before the question came up. Look at that. Uh, excellent stuff. Good stuff. You guys, thank you very much uh, for listening in and have a great day.